Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Bed Wars for Spigot 1.10. Alright, so first let's go over to the plugins tab over here, and then we will search for Bed Wars. Once it comes up, do the latest version. It says 2.4.4, it says for 1.9, but it should work for 1.10 as well. Click install. And I would also recommend having Multiverse Core installed and World Edit. And once you've installed all the plugins you need, let's go back to the server page and restart the server. Alright, so we're going to install a pre-made map for Bed Wars. Uh, we're going to go here, here's the URL, I'm going to put this in the description for you as well. Let's go download this. Download the file. Once it's been downloaded, let's go over to the file manager. Upload file. Choose the file. We're going to upload the zip file we just downloaded. Upload from computer. And we're going to go highlight this. Don't click on the text, just click right here so it's highlighted. And then click unzip. So it's now unzipped the world here. We're going to rename it to make it a bit easier to import. We're just going to name it Kingdoms. Alright, and that's it. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's open up Minecraft and let's log into our server. Alright, so what we can do is either make our own world to be used with Bed Wars, or we can download and install a pre-made one, which is what we're going to do for this tutorial. So once you've installed it to your server and import it with Multiverse, we're going to use MVTP, and the name of our world is called Kingdoms, so we're going to teleport to Kingdoms. Alright, so once we're here, we're going to first go into game mode 1. We're going to do slash bw help. This will show all the commands. And we're going to start with flying over to the bottom corner over here. What we want to do is make sure that we're in the very bottom over here. Below everything else. And once we're outside of either side of those, we're going to do slash bw position 1. And then we are going to go to the top corner on the exact opposite side and do the same thing, but for position 2. So slash bw position 2. Alright, so now let's go back over to where we were. And what we're going to do here, slash bw add and the name of it. So let's just call this tutorial. Create a new game. And we can do slash bw setup. We'll get this little menu here and it'll have all the games that you have. Right now we only have one. And it shows that we do not have enough teams, the lobby is not set, but the region is set. So, let's open that and go to teams. Then under teams you can set how many players you want to allow on each team. Let's just go to six on each team. And what teams do we want? There's yellow, red, blue, and green. So, let's just go with those four colors back. Teams yellow, green, blue, and red. So let's start with the yellow. I'm going to go over here. This is where the bed is. So what we're going to do here is break the bed first off. And we're on the yellow side, so let's do BW setup again. Go to teams, and we're going to set the bed. If it's not facing the right direction, you can change the bed direction using this. So we want it south for this one. So let's try breaking that. And let's reset it. Set bed. And there we go. Alright, let's set the spawn out here. Um, let's set the spawn right outside the front door. So right here. We're going to do slash 
SPW set up again. Right here, teams, and we're going to set the spawn for yellow right here. Now we're going to do the same thing for each other color. So let's just go straight across and do this for green. We will go upstairs, break this bed to reset it. Open up slash BW setup teams, and we are at the green one. So we're going to change direction to the way it needs to go. And set the bed. And now let's go set the spawn. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other two real quick, so I'll be right back. So I have finished placing the beds and the spawn points for each island. Once we've done doing that, let's go and start putting the autumn spawners and villagers down so that people can play. BW setup, and then we'll click on tutorial, and then item spawner, and this is where you can add the three item spawners. Normally you want to put them in a better location, but I'm just going to put them right here in front of the stairs. So let's go and put the bronze one here. So item spawners, add the bronze. And then item spawner, add iron, and then the rare item, let us add the gold item spawner. And those will just start spawning at the bottom of the stairs here. Now of course you also still need a villager so that you can buy these items. I'm going to just add these here. Now you can make it look a lot nicer than this, but this will work. I'm going to spawn the villager down there. And we are good to go. Now you also want to do this to the other three islands, or how many other islands you're going to be using. But once you are done, let's go and make the lobby. So let's go MVTP World. Alright, so once you've teleported back to wherever you want the spawn location, or the lobby to be, let's just make the lobby right up here somewhere. So we're going to add this. And let's just make the lobby right here. So we'll do BW setup again. Go to the lobby settings and we will click set location right here. And then now the lobby location is set here. So let's add the sign, do BW. And then tutorial, because that is the name of the arena we made. And you will see this. So let us start by joining, and now we have to wait for the other players to join. So let's have the other player join, they'll click join, choose a team, and now let's choose green team, and now we're ready to go. Now you'll see the three, well four items because I'm set as OP and I have the permission for the start game button here, but you can choose your team. You can see all the achievements here, or you can leave using this one. But for now, I'm just going to start the game. Now I've been spawned on the green island, which is where I set the spawn point. We'll go in and we see all the items spawning here. So we can grab those. And then we'll see the villager here, so let's right click on him. You can see all the different items that you can buy from them. So let's go with blocks. And it costs one bronze for every two sandstones. So let's just buy a bunch of that real quick. So I now have 36. I also just picked up an iron ingot that was spawned. And you can just basically play like that. So that's all you need to know to set up bed wars and play it. Hope you guys enjoyed.